uh, goes without saying, really proud of uh, our guys. Uh, just the, the effort and the energy today was terrific. Um, you know, it had been a long 10 days, and, and I just even mentioned it to them the last two days. Just really proud of how those guys handled the 10 days. Um, it's tough to go that long and, and not get stale and stagnant, and the guys did a really good job with their preparation. Um, you know, I think uh, Justin Shockey was terrific. Um, our ground ball play was very good. We cleared very well um, and got a great performance in his first start by Logan McNaney. So in a lot of the key areas where you talk about possessions, we didn't fail to clear. We were good off the ground. Uh, we got face-offs and we cleared um, and we got saved. So again, just gives you a good opportunity against a team that's so good like Notre Dame that plays great defense. Questions? Coach, uh, Notre Dame does play great defense, but I, I don't know what the final was. 64 shots you got off. And the movement, the ball movement was great. What It just seemed like it, out of the gate you were so much better than we've been the rest of the year. Um, I give, you know, Coach Rapper credit, you know, what he prepares the guys for all weekend. Just our guys, you know, just working really hard and, you know, understanding the game plan and sharing the ball and moving and cutting and, and being unselfish. Uh, last year's game at Notre Dame, the weather was bad. They went inside. Any thoughts of you crossing them up and going into Cole for this game? Uh, not at all. Um, you know, we the, to me that was a, a great day out there. Um, you know, we've been so lucky this so far this year. So, uh, not at all. Um, you know, and, and again, it would have to be something really bad to even have those conversations. It's to me, it's kind of February lacrosse is what it is. The Jacklin's Law Group's successes have resulted in many distinguished awards, including Best Personal Injury Trial Law Firm USA, Maryland's Personal Injury Attorney of the Year twice, and Super Lawyers designation every single year. We succeed because we're willing to try cases, and insurance companies know it. That's why their claim reps often grumble they pay us more in settlements than any other lawyers. You deserve a great lawyer. If you've been hurt in a car, truck, or train crash, call 855-BIG-DOG-1. Logan, go ahead. Just oh. the, with, with how things stood at 7-7, seven, seven, how did the offense kind of get going at that point to kind of pull away and, and, and secure this? Yeah, absolutely. It was 7-7. Seven, seven. Uh, like Justin Shockey put, uh, played really well in the middle of the field. Uh, wing play played really well, too, getting us the ball, kind of getting us in that rhythm like Coach Shed. So we were moving off ball. Like, Credit to Notre Dame. We knew they were really good coming in on defensive wise, and um, their goalie played really well. The freshman mm -hmm. came in here, played really well. So credit to him too. And uh, yeah, I just said Justin Shockey was a key to our success. Great. That that goal at eight seven was huge. Mm -hmm. To your point, um, we got Multi gets that goal from Jared off a broken play, huge play, no doubt about it. Brandon. Coach, what have you seen from Justin? Maybe the past nine or so days in practice, you know, he didn't take any faceoffs at Villanova, and he came out today and was really good. Uh, you know, I give Justin credit. He's been a pro, um, and I think all those face-off guys have. We've, you know, again, we the, the last four games, it's been four guys kind of going, but each time it's been a different guy. You know, we go, you know, basically to Justin, and then we go, uh, or the second game, uh, we go to Joel Truxis, uh, then we go to Shock, and then we go to Connor, and I thought he was terrific against Nova. And then we go back to Justin. And to me, that's just being ready and being professional. Um, those guys are supporting each other. You could hear the face-off guys all really supporting Justin today. And again, to me, that's when you know you got a good group when, hey, you're not getting what you want, but you're supporting your teammate. Um, and again, I give Ty Barberidge a lot of credit. He does so much work with those guys during the week. Uh, but that hog pen mentality of all week, those guys beating each other up and getting each other ready, uh, we're really lucky. We see that on game day. Coach, you've talked about a lot early on in the season how you wanted the team at times offensively to kind of slow it down and play more patient against a disciplined defense like Notre Dame. How would you evaluate the team's patience offensively today? Um, I thought our patience, once we got settled, was good. I felt like in transition we got a little uh, overzealous at times, you know, and at times it worked out for us. Um, but in other times, it, it just, again, it's that fine line. We have a lot of faith in the guys, um, so we give them that green light. But there are times when your defense is gassed or you just feel like you need to get a possession to help them. Um, and at times, we did pretty well. Just there were a couple of huddles where I just mentioned to them, hey, let's just be a little more selective. And, and even Logan would times go, hey, that's on me. And I'm like, I'm not even talking about that particular play. We just we had some like plays where I felt like we rushed it or maybe we forced it. Um, and other times they were awesome. So I think most of us now in February, you're trying to, you know, give them an opportunity. And we do give those guys the green light. You're just hoping that we're getting better at throttling down when it's not there. Um, and then, you know, taking it when it is there. And, and we are getting better at it.
Patrick. Uh, Nick, the first time goalie in cage, A, what, what do you kind of make of how he played, and B, as a defense, uh, when you have that situation, is it kind of a situation where you're, you're trying to make sure maybe you're even more on top of things just to make sure he's getting the right looks. And right, so Logan being a freshman coming in here, playing as a top five team, I mean, you got to give him all the credit in the world. Being in a difficult spot, he played great in practice, so I think he earned that. And then just making it easy for him, especially in front of him, um, give him savable shots and just give him the confidence that he's out there for a reason and that we got his back no matter what. Even if he didn't see one or we gave up a bad goal, understand that he's got the next one and we have all the confidence that he's going to make the next one. Nick, your perceptions of Maryland before you made the transfer, now that you're here and have played <laughs> played five games with them and know the program and know the love for lacrosse in this area, what are your perceptions, you know, afterwards? That I made the right decision. Um, this is an awesome place to be, and then we're in a place that really cares about not only lacrosse but each other as people. And being here, just understanding that this is important to everyone on the team, and I think that's something that was unique to me, and especially when I was getting recruited by Coach Tillman, that this is a place that everyone's going to take their best shot at us, and that's exactly where I want to be, just be able to compete against teams like Notre Dame and just come in here and hopefully just keep competing against really great teams coming up. Sure. Uh, Nick, how do you describe the defensive game plan, particularly relative to Kavanaugh, just given that you know, freshman who had a couple of big games and stuff? Really right, so I mean, he's a great player, he's really explosive, really smart. I mean, he's not the most athletic kid, but he knows what, how to play lacrosse. Um, and I think we just really just stand in to our principles, understanding that if he likes his spots, just make sure that he's uncomfortable when he gets to those spots. Um, we had a great defensive plan on him for Kavanaugh before the cost of deal and everyone out there, just be a little more aggressive and just take the take the fight to them instead of uh, offenses getting to rhythm. So I think give credit to Coach Bernhardt to really get us ready for this one, especially with Kavanaugh cost of deal. For Logan and Nick, uh, John mentioned this earlier, but 11-day layoff, how concerned were you about the rust? Um, I, I think that really played into our favor, you know, getting guys like healthy, getting guys like off of some sickness. And uh, I really think it helped us, it got us like fresh, and got us like, you know, like rejuvenated throughout the middle of the season. I agree with that. I think one, it got us healthy, but I think it made us a little bit hungry that we wanted to go out. We haven't played in 11 days to so really just go prove that we were getting better in, that, in those 11 days. And then we just take a week off there. We were ready to go play against a top five team and really just show them that what we were made of and we were ready for that. There was a two week stretch there that, I mean, we just didn't know who was going to be able to practice. You know, we had some injuries, but it was like guys were sick on and off. And it happens with every team. I think a lot of our teams were going through the same thing. And I think a lot of other lacrosse teams too, but it would, they all live together. They all hang out together. So it, every day we'd see our trainer and be like, oh yeah, he's going to be out or he's going to be out. And it was hard for continuity. And, and a couple of the, the things we had, a couple guys had flu. I mean, it crushed our guys. Like there were two, three days where they were just out. Uh, Tills, just to kind of build up what Nick was just saying about getting better. Have, have you seen this group improving day by day, week by week here over the last couple weeks? Yeah, and, and that's one thing we've talked about as a group all year was, you know, we just have so many new parts, and you, you kind of saw it today. You know, you got Logan starting in goal, right? Matt Rahill went down to close today. He's starting, so you have two out of the three, um, and the veteran guy is a, a, a sophomore, you know, in Brett. Um, Gap played pole today, you know, so that this is his first year playing defense, so that's kind of new. Uh, you know, Jake Higgins got, gave us great minutes today. Josh Coffin played a lot today, um, so they hadn't played a lot. Uh, and then you see, you know, with that attack, Maltz is, is, is a new guy out there. Um, Jack Brennan is a new guy out there, so we do have some new parts. I, I thought Kyle Long came in, gave us a great lift today. He finally getting healthy. Rusp, I thought uh, Massey did a very good job, and, and Jake. Um, you know, Jake Smith played well. I, that, that group was huge for us, um, and, and we used that group more than we've used them, and they just kept kept coming up and, and creating some opportunities for us. Nick and Logan, you guys talk about the importance of just starting out with a 2-0 two, lead in the first five minutes. You talked about throughout the week how starting fast was a point of emphasis. I mean, yeah, we stressed that right before the game. It was, you know, coming out fast. You know, not kind of being like the basketball team down 17 in Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> right, I agree. I mean, Coach, you get the no, yeah, yeah, that's it. Uh, <laughs> Coach, Coach Tillman was emphasizing the first five minutes and understand that we have to, if we win those, it would give us a good start. And I mean, just like us too, we have been in great uh, advantages. We've been in holes early in games, especially the past two games. So really just getting out, just being excited out there and just start the game hot and just understanding that we don't want to play in holes anymore. So getting out with a good lead would help us a lot. Time for a couple more. Brandon. Logan, offensively, how do you guys avoid getting flustered when you get a lot of shots on goal, but 
you know, a lot of times they're not, like today they got a lot of shots, but maybe they weren't all falling. How do you avoid um, getting flustered and staying with it? Next shot mentality. Next, you know, you come off, uh, I was kind of pissed off, but the guy was making some good saves, but uh, no, you just kind of have to hit the reset button. Uh, the next shot's going in, you just have to have that mentality. Hey, when you're out there and they're, they're number five, uh, first of all, did they talk a lot or is it a real quiet game out there? Not, not compared to what we've seen. No, not no, compared no, to what no, we've yeah. seen, no. I, so think, you, I think it helped getting out of an early lead and just being in control, really, for the most yeah. part with Shockey getting a ton of face-offs and Logan making some good early saves. I think that definitely set the tone a little bit and put it in our favor. So, I mean, they didn't have any right to talk. Yeah, I thought they were pretty respectful, like, for sure. When you guys finally got up and started to pull away and you're looking at the neck, you know, you're looking at your opponent right in the eyes, was there a moment when you could see that they knew this was uh, not going to be their day? That's a tough question. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. I mean, <laughs> uh, I don't think so. I mean, yeah. they're, they're a top five team. I mean, yeah. they, they know they're going to be in the game. I mean, they're we play them for a reason. They're a good team. So, yeah, I think it's, yeah. it's tough to see that, it's, yeah. especially against a well disciplined team like Notre Dame. I mean, they're going to compete until the end. Um, once you start pulling away, maybe a couple of the younger guys sag the shoulders, but really, you just expect them to play hard for 60 minutes. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.